car. I need you to cue it right back to that. Thank you. Brother Terry, before he comes, I am so thankful that God, the Bible said that when a man has found a wife, he's found a good thing. And when God gave this preacher boy a wife, he had to give him a good thing.
Well, not all the way to the beginning. Amen. I'll tell you what, brother, get that ready. Let me have, let me have five volunteers. Come on. Let me see your hand. Now, there's prizes involved in this. Five volunteers. No. Oh, I'm just I'm yeah. About 10, 19. There you go. Eight, five, eight, five. Back there in the back. Oh, yeah. Four. You. Look like. You. Ella Elizabeth. Brother Terry, where's my ball? <laughs> this is not just an ordinary club. I want you to stay right down here. Get in the circle. But this ball's got a tavern on it. And when the tavern goes off, something will happen. You don't know what, but something will happen. And the person holding the ball when it does whatever it's going to do, you're out. The last person standing, let me see that video. Let me see that video. Now, if you don't want it, you can give it to your youth pastor. This <laughs> is WWJD video. What would Jesus do? Amen? I want it if you don't. So, Elizabeth, win this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to sit the town and I'm going to toss it to you. You toss it back and forth. The last person that ain't the last person standing win. So, here we go.
se... I see you outside when you mess with the youth pastor. <laughs> I can tell there's not an ego. Brother Terry, I want you to bring that bag right there. 
there. Not until about that one. We're going to let Pastor off for a few more minutes. How many likes good stuff? All right, I want to hurt nobody. If you feel like this, man, you got to do like this. This is how you do it. This is what I like to do. Be uh, careful. Oh, Pastor, so there you go. Feel so good here.
Get started because we're fixing to get into God's Word. How many knows that God's Word is what feeds us? Amen. Come on now. Amen. 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 What happened last week was a tragic occurrence. I prayed and I asked God, God, why would such a thing happen? Why would your people take the lives of your people for no particular reason, no particular reason. The only thing that ran over and over and over and over in my mind was because America's taking me out of school. Amen. Church, our young people can't pray in school no more. Our young people are ridiculed for taking their Bibles to school. Anymore. I ask God, I said, God, why do we have a president that can call for prayer for a situation like a Colorado situation, but can't realize the sin is on Yes, I know. People say that he's not wondrous for our economic system. I know that they say that he's not this and that he's not that, but the thing is, when I get to retirement age, I don't have anything. Listen to me. I want a man that runs a country that I can look up to. Amen. I want a man that these young people that are not hearing on the news that unless there's actual penetration, you can do anything you want and it's not sex. Anything that you would be ashamed to do before God is sin. Amen. Amen. I could not go in my office with another woman and do all the have sex according to our president and be proud to stand before God. Amen. Because sin cannot stand in the presence of God. No way. Now I drive a Chevrolet S10. If something happens to that truck, I don't go to the auto parts store and tell them I need a part for a Ford Ranger. They don't think. Sin is sin. You've got to call sin what it is. Sin. 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 If it's not right according to God's word, it's sin. No in fans what's about it. Good people, listen to me. You know as well as I do what's right and what's wrong. You know that if you have sex before marriage, that the convicting power of the Holy Spirit will minister to your heart. Well, I love this person. I, I love women. I've been with them for a while, and, and it's just the right thing to do because we love each other. It's not lining up in God's Word. He said, sex without the, it within the confines of marriage is okay, but outside the confines is sin. Anything that's harmful to your body, any kind of substance that abuses your body is sin. You cannot tell this youth pastor that God put marijuana on the earth for us to enjoy. Wrong answer. But I want you, if you want to open in your 
Bible tonight in Hebrews 11th chapter. And I'm going to read, starting in the 23rd verse. Amen. How many is expecting God to do something in this place tonight? Amen. How many is expecting God to do something in this place tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Hebrews 11, chapter 23, verse, By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents, because they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandments. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choosing rather to suffer the afflictions of the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Esteeming the approach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith Moses, when he come to years, the age of accountability, Knowing the difference between right and wrong. Realizing what was right in his life and realizing what was wrong in his life. Refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. How many knows that spring is upon us and summer is fixing to take place and when summer's gone, fall will come and the leaves will change and then winter will come and so forth and so forth. A season is a time, a time event. A season. A season. I want to talk to you for just a few minutes on Moses and choosing rather. Choosing rather, Master, I come to you tonight and seek the anointing of the Holy Spirit. God, we've had fun. We've watched videos. We've watched things. But God, this is the time. This is the time. And God, I pray that tonight the cry the glory of the Holy Spirit, nothing within me, but everything from you would flow from the mouth of the man. And God, you see every individual sitting in this place tonight. And right now, I pray by the Holy Spirit, you begin to soften the heart. Open the ears to hear. Allow the heart to be receptive to your word. In your name. Amen. Amen. Moses, when he was just a baby, his parents knew that he was a good child. Knew that there was something about Moses. So they took this little baby and they put him in a basket and they sent him down the river. Most people know the story that Pharaoh's daughter picked him up and claimed Moses as her own. Now listen, Pharaoh was wealthy. Pharaoh had everything that any teenager could want. Anything. And he was ruler. He was the man. If you was tied to Pharaoh, you had whatever you wanted. Everything. See, young people, church, we get to a place in our lives where we come to a choosing situation. Moses, we come to age. Doesn't say 20, 25, 30, but I believe when Moses became a teenager. When Moses knew that which was right and wrong, Moses come to the choosing place in his life. See, he knew that he was not the son of Pharaoh's daughter. But he could